I have 55 followers and I gained those all today. All right, so I wasn't planning on making this video today, mostly because I didn't think this is how I would be spending my day today. But basically, since Twitter is having a revolution, one of my favorite YouTubers, which is Plumbella, who has also joined in on the revolution, uploaded a video today talking about how Sims Twitter is going absolutely crazy because, listen, I've been a Sims fan my whole entire life. The Sims 2 raised me. Beautiful. Kiss. The last video I made before I went on my hiatus last year was a Sims video. Love it so much. But The Sims 4? The Sims 4 just doesn't deliver. The Sims 4 is so boring and so drab and we are all tired of it. We are all spending our hard-earned cash on things that don't even matter. Things that the base game of the Sims 1, 2, and 3 all had, but we have to pay for it in The Sims 4? Like swing sets! What's with that? Anyway, Sims Twitter is going mad. We are all just creating accounts of random things from The Sims that we either miss, NPCs that we miss, playable characters that we miss having lore, because we all know Sims 4 lore just doesn't exist. Sims lore is no more. <laughs> and it's just like a ton of random accounts, like Sims Trash Can, Sims Therapist, Sims 3 Taxi. Sorry, Sims 3 Taxi, I forgot to follow you. Anyway, I'm currently quarantined in my house, and I think it's been, I, I don't even know, the concept of time being quarantined, I don't know how long it's been, I know it's only been a couple days, but I am already losing my mind. But I said, hey, I'm gonna join in on this. I'm gonna join in on this little adventure. And so, since The Sims 2 raised me, and since Avril Lavigne raised me, I'm gonna be Sims Avril Lavigne. It's genius. I tweeted this 11 minutes ago. I had 53 followers. I have 60 now. How many did I have when I started the video? I don't even know. So I have taken on the persona of this pixelated Avril Lavigne. Also, I had to plug, I know, which is kind of annoying, but I had to try. Also, nobody has made a, a, an account for Drew Carey from the first Sims. Can somebody please, can somebody please do this? There's a couple retweets, but I haven't been able to find my Jim Carrey counterpart, so. Also, my most liked tweet is just this one that says, I miss 2003. When I looked on the wiki for Avril Lavigne, there were only two pictures, and this was one of them. All of these accounts are so funny, like El Bandito. <laughs> All of the other Sims games had flavor. Like I said, I played the first Sims for the first time maybe about 11 months ago. I don't exactly know how long it's been, which by the way, if you haven't seen that video, it's a wild one, you should check it out. But after I played it for the first time, that's all I played for like two months after that. It was so easy for me to go back and visit the first Sims, even though it's so old. Because compared to The Sims 4, it had so much to do, there was so much personality in the game. And The Sims 4 is just so boring, it's so plain. Sims memories, and then it's like The Sims playing tag. Get yourself a man who chases you like El Bandito in his trash can. <laughs> the Sims, this is all The Sims had to contribute to this today, is the weekend meme. I think that there's even a, a hashtag that's like Sims Revolution. I'm surprised The Sims is not trending. Yes, yeah, Sims Revolution, Sims Revolution. Uh, let's just talk about Journey to Batu. How many people bought that? I just want to know. Justice for Spiral Stairs. See, I, I started out by creating a Spiral Staircase account, but then I noticed somebody else made one, and I was like, oh, I don't want to copy somebody. So Avril Lavigne was born. The notifications are just, they, they won't stop. It's crazy. It is absolutely insane. The fans have the ability to change the world, and that's exactly what they're doing. They are going to social media and using all of their platforms for good. Also, Don Lothario doesn't want to date Sims Avril Lavigne, and I think that's completely disrespectful. I even sang to him, and he didn't answer. I serenaded him with one of my hit songs, and he didn't even answer me. It all started, well, I don't know where it all started, but I know Sims Burglar is a big contributor to this lovely chaos that's going on. Also, Bone Hilda. But if it wasn't for uh, Plumbella's YouTube video, I don't think I would have uh, been doing this today, and this has definitely been an entertaining addition to my day that was just laying in bed and doing nothing. This has definitely been the highlight of my whole entire life, really. <gasps> I love El Bendito. <laughs> I hope you all have a, a great night. Uh, wasn't expecting to make this, but I'm very happy that I was able to, because this needs to be documented so that I can remember it forever.